Masada, a desert mountain fortress atop an isolated plateau located two-thirds down the western shoreline of the Dead Sea, opposite the Lysan Peninsula, dividing the Dead Sea into two-thirds of the north, one-third southwards near Mount Sodom. Herod the Great brought his brother Philip and fiancée Mariamne for refuge here. We're fleeing from the Maccabean Mattathias Antigonus and his Parthian alliance following his father Antipater's death. Herod sought military and financial aid from the Nabatean king Malichus and Queen Cleopatra in Egypt, but failed. Went on to Rome where the Senate crowned him king of the Jews. At first waging unsuccessful campaigns, but finally triumphed, becoming the tyrant king, rebuilt Masada as a place of personal refuge. When Herod died, Masada became a Roman legionary stronghold, who probably didn't hear about the first Jewish revolt outbreak. The Galilean Sicarii overthrew the fortress. The Jerusalem temple fell. Many fleeing to the mountains as prophesied in Luke 21, 21 and Matthew 4, 24, 16. Masada became the last Jewish stronghold. Josephus, Jewish Wars, Book 6, Chapters 8 and 9, pays homage to Masada, the archaeological evidence is amazing. Ascending by cable car or one and three quarter mile, hike up the snake path, arrives an astonishing partly reconstructed archaeological site, displaying the opulence of Herodian palaces, casemate walls, cisterns, storehouses, synagogue and more. Coupled an enthralling vibrant story ending in a mass suicide of 960 men, women and children. And a hope of resurrection as recorded in Ezekiel 37. The mountain view affords a panorama across the Dead Sea towards Edom opposite, Mount Sodom and the Negev Desert. This is Malcolm in the Promised Land. 1 Corinthians 16.22 greets in Aramaic Maranatha. Maranatha. Miss Maranatha tours can take you there. And John 1.29 invites, come and see.